Well, hey, my name's Cameron. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I am going to uh, try to see the difference between V2 and V3 superchargers. Um, I have this uh, used 2019 uh, Model 3, and it's just a standard range Model 3. Um, it's basically a standard range plus Model 3, but it's software locked uh, to 41 uh, kilowatt hours usable. And um, it did not come with autopilot, but um, I have since gotten autopilot on this car. Um, so really that's the only difference is uh, has a smaller battery pack, but it does charge super fast. Um, so I did want to see the difference between uh, using a V2 and a V3 supercharger on a road trip in a road trip uh, scenario. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have two superchargers near me in my area. Uh, they're in Bristol, uh, Tennessee, and one of them is in Bristol, Virginia. Um, they're both right off of uh, Interstate 81. Uh, one of them is a V2 supercharger, and one of them is a V3 supercharger. Um, so I am going to arrive to both of them, uh, preconditioning my car to both of them. Uh, it's going to be the same day. There's really not a lot of wind or anything, um, but I'm going to arrive to both of them with 10%. Um, and I'm going to charge for 15 minutes at each one, and I'm gonna see uh, what state of charge we're at at the end of that 15 minutes. Uh, the reason I really wanted to do this, especially with my car um, and a lot of other rear-wheel drive Model 3s, is uh, the max charging uh, for this car and uh, even the brand new Model 3s uh, standard range that are out today can only charge at 170 kilowatts, uh, that's peak. So uh, the V3 superchargers can go up to 250 kilowatts, whereas the V2s can, uh, the peak is 150. So, um, but you know, in these cheaper Model 3s, uh, even though the supercharger can go up to 250, I can really only take uh, 170 max. So I really wanted to see just how much time that would save on a road trip, um, you know, using a V3 rather than a V2. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go. I'm going to go to the uh, version two supercharger first and I'll see you guys over there. All right, so we are here at the version two supercharger with uh, 10%. We're gonna plug in. And you can always tell these are uh, version two superchargers by the uh, metal tip on it. And these are thicker cables. So we're gonna plug in, wait on it to turn green. Maybe, there it goes. And I'm going to start a timer for 15 minutes. So uh, we'll see. I'm gonna keep the HVAC on and everything, um, but we're gonna see where we're at after uh, 15 minutes here. Um, right now I'm only getting 117. It's starting to ramp up. Uh, should ramp up to about 170 or 150. <laughs> 150, sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, I have a, a timer on here for, for 15 minutes. So we'll see where we're at. All right, so we are uh, just finishing up right now for uh, 15 minutes. And this is where we're at. So we're at 68%. Uh, we have ramped down significantly to only 73 kilowatts. Uh, I have an OBD reader and our battery is red hot, 59 degrees Celsius. Uh, I looked it up while I was sitting here and Tesla recommends uh, keeping your battery below 60 degrees Celsius. So really all the cooling uh, in this car right now is just going to the battery and uh, it's also kind of limiting where we're at. So um, I'm gonna unplug. And uh, I think I am going to go to that Chick-fil-A over there. And I'm gonna let this battery cool off for a little bit. Uh, this is where we're going. Uh, so this charger right here is in uh, Bristol, Virginia. Um, but it is a 250 uh, kilowatt uh, charger. 
So um, it's just down the road. Uh, I'm going, like I said, I'm going to uh, just go eat some lunch, let this battery cool off a little bit. I need to uh, get that 70% back down to 10% while uh, preconditioning to Bristol, Virginia. I might not even have to precondition because the battery is still red hot. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat some lunch and we are gonna go uh, burn some energy and go to this charger. Okay, so I'm here at the uh, Supercharger version three. I'm at 10%. Uh, that last trip I did 97 miles, 24 kilowatt hours. So let's get this one plugged in. start my timer all right so we got 15 minutes going and we're gonna be ramping up here uh, should be going up to 170 uh, kilowatts yeah so we're going past 170 uh, just a little bit not by much um, I do have my OBD reader, so it did cool back down to uh, 41 degrees Celsius. Uh, we'll probably see that um, increase quite a bit. I hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get red hot again, uh, but it's possible. So um, yeah, let's uh, let this go for about 15 minutes and uh, I'll let you guys know where we're at. So we are uh, just finishing up here at 15 minutes. And uh, this is where we're at, we're at 72%. So we're only 4% difference <laughs> between uh, version two and version three uh, on, on this car, at least on real wheel drive uh, model threes. Uh, like you can see here, uh, we're down to only 62 kilowatts. We've added 26 kilowatt hours. Uh, and this whole thing has cost us $11 uh, just for this the single uh, charge, we're at 39 cents per kilowatt hour. So um, we do only have nine minutes up to uh, 90%. So, you know, that's that's pretty good um, going from 73 to 90. If that's what the car will really do, um, then that's that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not super shocked by this these results, um, but whenever I get home, uh, we'll go over this together. All right, so I'm uh, back home now and uh, just wanted to go over the results. So I'm not super shocked uh, by these results just because uh, at peak, you're only talking about 20 kilowatts difference uh, for these rear wheel drive Model 3s. But um, so the version two, as you saw, finished at 68% uh, after 15 minutes. Uh, then the version three finished at 72%. So in this car, 4%, I mean, you're probably talking about another kilowatt hour, maybe two. Um, and so, I mean, you're probably only talking about 10 miles max, maybe for that, uh, that difference. So it's really not, you know, that, that big of a deal. Um, if you're planning a road trip in a rear wheel drive model three, uh, standard range, standard range plus, um, even the new ones that are out today, they, if it charges at 170 uh, kilowatts, max then you know difference between version two and version three uh really isn't that different um so you know uh if, if tesla uh, if the the trip planner wants to you know take you to a version two uh you know i, I probably wouldn't want to change it or you know go through any hassle to try to you know redirect to a version three obviously version three is better um especially during like holiday uh, weekends and stuff like that, I would probably lean more towards a version three uh, just because of, uh, you know, how it handles power sharing. So version twos, if, if you don't know, version twos, um, they share power between stalls. So if you're at one A and one B, then those two share. So if somebody is already parked at one A and you pull up and you wanna park in one B, then both of you are going to split that 150 
uh, kilowatt power, so both of you will be limited to 75. Whereas a version three doesn't do that. Uh, it can split power between any of the stalls. Uh, they have like DC links underneath the uh, concrete running conduit. And so it can uh, split the power from any stall to another stall. And uh, it's really not, not that big of a deal. So, you know, I would, version three is a lot nicer for that reason. Uh, but as far as, you know, if you were wanting to do it for uh, speed or, you know, seeing what the difference would be between version two and version three, now, you know, it's only about 4%, maybe only one or two kilowatt hours in your battery. Um, and that's, that's really about it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if it did help you uh, with your buying decision or anything, um, you can use my Tesla referral link down below. Uh, and I would appreciate that. Um, other than that, just uh, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the like button. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.